If I think back to about five years ago, a little bit more than five years ago, then uh, I went for a retreat with Lumpur Sumedho at Spirit Rock. And uh, there, was, uh, there was a monastic retreat, and then there was a retreat for the teachers there. And during that retreat there, I had thought just to come for a retreat time. But just, just being with this woman's body in the robes there at that time, due to various circumstances, wherever I went, when I went into the meditation hall, I would hear a rustling and find a note underneath my cushion. Mm-hmm. When I went to the bathroom, I would find somebody waiting for me by the door. <laughs> uh, it seemed like just about, just about wherever I turned, then there was uh, one, another, one or another woman at that retreat um, who had, had written a note or wanted to whisper to me and was wanting to know, uh, you know how, how is it that you're here? And uh, is there a possibility for someone like me? And um, actually, it was a little bit disturbing during the retreat. Uh, I wasn't wasn't able to have so much peace and quiet besides that, uh, although there was lots of it. And uh, Ajahn Sumedho then, and uh, I think Ajahn Amaro was there also. And um, then they were they were also getting inquiries and requests, and uh, uh, people, women there, wanting to speak with them about. Uh, about monastic life, and so at that time, they asked me if I would be willing to talk to them. And uh, I'm remembering back to that time mm-hmm. because uh, that time was very, uh, mm-hmm. very key, I think, in the beginnings of Damodarini, because I felt very, very deeply, uh, strongly in my heart then, uh, the presence of aspiration here in this area. Mm-hmm. And you know, a strong, a strong desire for there to be a women's monastic presence here, and that was really, I think, at the base of uh, our going ahead with starting Damodarini five years ago. Visiting at our nearby Thai temple, also, there were friends there, including one who is standing right in front of me right now and smiling, Radhika, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Another friend, Shari, another friend, Supatra, also, who, uh, uh, when I had their Supatra, when I came to visit there, then uh, they would ask, why do you have to leave? Yes? Why just visiting? And it would be nice if you could stay. Huh? It would be nice if the other women who, who've come to visit, it would be nice if they could stay also. And. Um, so those three friends who I just mentioned, maybe then a total of 20, were the ones who we started our Damodarini Vihara with five years ago. And, uh, and the, the religious non-profit organization in the state of California, 501c3, <laughs> uh, <laughs> who, who helped to put that together so that we could be all above board and legal living as mendicants. <laughs> <laughs> Living with nothing takes a lot of paperwork in the United States. <laughs> I, I had thought about, uh, you know, going going for alms and like sleeping in the park, like the old old Indian style. But in USA, you know, it's not legal to sleep in the park overnight. <laughs> and uh, some places, it's not even okay to just go for alms. Uh, but uh, we started this wonderful nonprofit organization, and then uh, uh, 20 friends uh, turned into 40, 80, 100, 200, uh, 300, uh, and increased like that. Um, so I'm very much aware. Like uh, when we began with our vihara, I went there with my bowl, my sitting cloth, my robes, and I sat on an, an empty granite floor. <laughs> and the walls were empty, and everything was empty, and it was like a zendo. <laughs> uh, very, very beautiful emptiness. And then uh, from these first 20 friends, they, they brought things. And I was so acutely aware that every single thing that's here, there's, there's nothing that wasn't the gift of a friend. Every single thing, every single morsel of food, the water even that came from the tub, 
That's every bit of it. So I'm just remembering that very acute awareness then at that time of how uh, the, the name of the organization and the name of the place really just represented uh, this, this coming together of the kindness and aspirations and generosity and goodwill of, of many friends. It's like one body has many parts, but we call it a body. <laughs> this is also very much, very much like that. Or we say self, made up of many kandas. So you all are also the, the kandas, yes? Uh, each, each one. So I want to call on a couple of the uh, a couple of the main khandas here now, uh, out of out of gratitude, uh, and uh, invite you to say uh, a few words if you'd like to, and then I'll uh, then I'll give you an introduction. It seems like a beginning today, but it's the culmination of. Uh, oh, it seems so amazing from small vihara to being on like 160 acres of the, the forest land and yes, the yurt and everything and uh, women's monastic community here and aspirations to be ordained here in this area. We're going to be going ahead with that now. Mm-hmm.